I'm now going to illustrate one uh, additional property of uh, gyroscopic guidance and navigation and control, and that is what happens if you suspend the gyro not from the side uh, where the axis of spin is, but if you suspend it from the side that's parallel to the rotational plane of the wheel. Now, if you think about it here, once again, without it spinning and you let go, it simply flops down. That's what we expected, which would happen anyway, no matter where it's suspended. I give it some spin. Let's see what happens. I let go, it flops down. In other words, we're not getting any information at all from the rotation of the gyro, none at all. And this um, is a illustration of what actually has happened in several cases in spacecraft, especially during the Apollo mission, especially Apollo 11 and Apollo 13, where the spacecraft got into an orientation where the gimbals, that is to say these uh, supporting frames, got out of alignment to the point where no information was coming out of the gyro wheels. They had to reorient the uh, whole system to get that information back. It's a little bit of a uh, uh, specialized problem. It doesn't happen that often. But uh, if you ever look at the transcripts of those famous Apollo missions to the moon, you'll see uh, references to the astronauts being concerned about orienting the spacecraft properly so that this pr uh, event called gimbal lock does not occur. So uh, it's something that uh, is just a little bit specialized, but uh, the next time you hear about Apollo missions, you, you'll know this is what it was all about.